Hi everyone, I'm Delicia and thanks for tuning into the Cigar Vixen channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing this very elegant, very tasty cigar by the name of High Clear Castle. This of course is a collaboration cigar blended by Nick Malio of Foundation Cigar Company. It's made at the AJ Cigar Factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. And it's a beautiful stick with a lot of history behind the name. Of course, High Clear Castle, those of you who are history buffs are probably much more familiar with it than I am, but I have heard a little bit about it. Um, I had the opportunity to actually have a cigar and meet um, Lord Carnavon, who maintains the castle, which is, it sits on this 5,000 acre property, which is beautiful from the photos I've seen. I've never been there in person, but it's also the setting for Downtown Abbey. I'm sure those of you who watch um, that show are very familiar again with that location, but it looks incredible. And what's even more amazing is the history behind smoking cigars at that castle, which dates back to 1862, where a tradition you know, in that castle, in fact, was to retire after dinner into the library with a glass of whiskey and a nice cigar. Not this particular cigar, but um, you know, any of the cigars that were there at the time. So the idea behind blending this cigar was to create something that would have been as close to the cigars that were being smoked at that time. So quite the task, and I'm you know, pleased to say that they, they chose an amazing person to accomplish that. Um, Nick Malio, I've talked about him um, a lot in, you know, over some of my different videos, but I'm a huge fan of his. He's somebody that when I first started in the industry was just amazing and answered tons of my questions. And he's just a very talented um, human being, very interesting, very humble. If you have an opportunity to see him and sit down with him, he's pretty amazing to just pick his brain or just listen to him tell stories. And he's a history buff as well. So when he was talking to me about this cigar at last year's trade show, um, he gave a really cool, you know, again, interview about it and just really went into a lot of detail as far as he actually went to the castle and experienced that. So I'm hoping one day to make it, um, you know, to the High Clear Castle and sit in the library and have a glass of whiskey and smoke this cigar for the true experience. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and smoke it, you know, here with all of you. So taking a closer look at this, again, very elegant, um, beautiful cigar. It is featuring a Connecticut shade wrapper and a Criollo and Corojo from Jalapa and Ometepe for the filler. The binder is Brazilian Matafina and it has an exclusive hybrid seed called Nicadan. And again, um, it is made at the AJ Fernandez Cigar Factory out in Esteli and it is available in five different Vitolas. So it's a beautiful cigar. I mean, when you're looking at it aesthetically, the wrapper is flawless. It's absolutely gorgeous in the coloring and the texture. There's a nice silky light uh, sheen to it. So just really, really nice. And let's go ahead and just get right into it. Now it does have a little bit of a um, more elegant price point, I guess you could say. It starts out about 14 to 15, somewhere in that ballpark, but Again, it's using a very high quality tobacco, um, not to mention that the beautiful box that it comes in, it's a gorgeous lacquered uh, royal blue with the nice gold trim. It has a picture of the castle on it, really neat. And then again, just the band, the detail on the band itself is, it's very elegant. Um, but more importantly, the, the cigar smokes well and it has really good flavor. So we'll get into that here. And even just toasting the foot, the aroma is just um, very impressive. And look at that. Now I always forget to fill my lighters with butane. As you can tell, this happens to me often. There we go. I guess that's a sign of an avid cigar smoker that I constantly run low on butane. <laughs> 
So right away, you pick up a nice graham cracker, a, a very creamy, light type of flavoring to it. Um, very nice. It's not overpowering by any means. In fact, this would be a perfect cigar for somebody that is a little bit newer to smoking. I always bring that up because I get asked that question very often. So this would be perfect for somebody that is looking for something that's closer to the mild spectrum of things. It does start to develop in the flavor and a little bit more on the strength, but it's overall, it's right in that very easy to smoke category with a lot of flavor. So just a, a really great stick. But again, starting off with that graham cracker, little bit of a creaminess to it. There's a hint of sweetness, but kind of like a wheat, a sweeter wheat grain. It's, it's, it's a different type of flavoring to it. Of course, using, you know, the tobacco from Jalapa and some of that Matafina, you're going to get those naturally sweeter notes in there and you definitely pick them up, you know, in this, it reminds me of like the vanilla wafer type of, uh, feel to it. So you just get that subtle sweetness, nothing overpowering, nothing heavy, just a nice little graham cracker, vanilla type of feel to it. Um, just really nice. And again, very easy to smoke, nice aroma to it. It's a very inviting aroma. Yep, all that's missing is that glass of whiskey. <laughs> Okay, so as per the norm, I'm going to go ahead and smoke it down and check back in for the second third. So coming in on just past the halfway point here on the High Clare Castle, um, the notes are fantastic right now. Very pleasant. You're getting a mixture of a cinnamon nutmeg kind of a spice. So really nice, nothing overpowering. There's a hint of a white pepper that's kind of subtle in there, more on the finish than anything else. And you still get that same kind of um, a graham cracker, light sweetness to it. So it's a good combination of those flavors right now. Uh, just really taking my time with it and enjoying it. It's smoking beautifully. It's not heating up. It's just really nice. So I'm going to continue to smoke it down and check back in with you for the final third. So coming back in with the final third on the High Clare Castle cigar, I'm literally down to the last little nub on here, which of course, when a cigar tastes good, and especially when it has a little bit of a uh, pricier tag on it, you definitely want to smoke as much of it as possible. So I am literally down to the point where it's starting to burn my fingers. <laughs> so I would think this is time for me to put it out, but it's really, really tasty. Um, it has picked up a little bit more of a spice combination still of a kind of a cinnamon little hints of that nutmeg are still there but definitely the pepper has has stepped up a little bit more towards this final third but there's been a nice introduction of a nuttiness and there's still a little bit of again that kind of a graham cracker vanilla wafer somewhere in that realm of the sweetness level and there's also some cedar so it's a really nice profile again especially i can imagine with a with the proper glass of whiskey to accompany it, this would be a phenomenal night um, to sit down in that library, smoke this cigar, have that glass of whiskey. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get there one day and you can assure yourselves if I do get there, you'll come with me because I'll definitely film. <laughs> but anyways, thanks so much for tuning in and I'd love to hear your feedback for any of you who are history buffs, who travel, who have maybe, maybe you live in the area, if you've ever visited the castle, I'd love to hear your feedback. If you've smoked this cigar, even better. I also welcome all your thoughts and your questions, your comments. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Cheers. <laughs>